Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. We know that the system suitability is an integral part of uh, chromatographic testing procedure. And uh, we may choose staling factor, resolution, theoretical plates, etc. are the parameters to decide on to the system suitability. In today's uh, discussion, we are going to talk about the calculation of uh, plate counts and the resolution. So if you look at the calculation formulas for plate counts or resolution, you will find that the two different terms are used. I'm talking about the term number one that is peak width at the base. And the second term is the peak width at the half height. So let us understand whether peak width shall be used or whether peak width at the half height shall be used for calculation of plate counts and the resolution. And I'm trying to explain this uh, particular terms by taking the support of uh, USP general chapter 621 that is chromatography. So before we move on to the general chapter 621, let us first try to understand what we mean by peak width at base and peak width at half height. So let us assume we have a Gaussian uh, uh, chromatographic peak and uh, the peak is represented over here on the screen now. Let us try to understand the definition of peak width at base which is denoted by W. So it is the segment of the peak base intercepted by the tangents drawn to the inflection points on either side of the peak. So first and foremost, if you want to define the peak width at base, you have to draw the tangents and the tangent has to be drawn by, 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 by looking at the or by identifying the inflection point or the steepest portion onto the curve. So if you can see over here now that this is the portion or the point which is the steepest point. That means this particular point has the greatest possible slope across the half of the peak, this front peak. Similarly, you have to also understand the, the steepest portion of the curve onto the the tailing portion or the another half side of the peak and this is not denoted into the diagram but you can understand where it must be lying. So by understanding these points you have to now draw the tangent. Now once you draw the tangent these two tangents can cross uh, above the apex of the peak that is over here. Similarly you will also know what is the baseline of the entire peak. Which is, which is denoted by this dash colored black line uh, for the complete or the full peak. And then understand where these tangents are crossing to the baseline and whatever distance denoted by this uh, 4 sigma or W, this is actually the peak width at the base. So always remember the peak width at the base which we are going to use for calculation of resolution or plate counts is not the complete uh, uh, width across the uh, peak. This is not the complete width of the peak. It is just the width of the peak in between these two tangents where this baseline is getting crossed. And I hope you understand with this W is equal to 4 sigma, which is uh, denoted by this uh, blue color line. So once you understand the peak width at the base, let us understand what is meant by peak width at half height. So it is the length of the line parallel to the peak base at 50% of the peak height that terminates at the intersection with the two limbs of the peak. So when you have to calculate the peak width at half height, you need not to draw the tangents. 
Is there a mention of drawing a tangents when you talk about peak width at half height definition? No. So the first important point is for calculation of the peak width at half height, the tangent are need not to be drawn. Now what, need, what needs to be understand then? The first and foremost, you have to integrate the peak appropriately at the base and then try to understand the entire height of this peak from the baseline, which is generated by H over here. And once you understand the edge, then calculate the 50 percentage of that edge, that is H by 2 or half of the height. And then from this baseline, you know, calculate that H by 2. So once you come this particular point, okay, now this is my H by 2. And then try to understand what is the distance between these two limbs of the peak at half height. And that becomes your peak width at the half height. So which one is easy to calculate? Is it peak width at base is easy to calculate? Or is the peak width at half height is easy to calculate? Okay, so according to me, the second option is easy to calculate. The peak width at half height, that is uh, WH by 2 is very easy to calculate. Now in the next part of the discussion, we will try to understand how the plate counts and resolutions are calculated by USP General Chapter 621. Now for the sake of uh, you know explaining the old and new uh, calculation formulas, I am going to refer the old version of uh, 621 and the current version of 621. So let us have a look. Alright, so whatever you are now seeing on the screen is the old version of the 621 general uh, USP general chapter 621 you can see the official date as 1st August 2017 and this is the calculation of the resolution or the RS so how the resolution is calculated by uh, USP general chapter 621 and you can see the first calculation formula so in the first calculation formula, you must you must, you can see that there is a no mention of peak width at half height. In the denominator, you will find uh, W1 and W2. So what are this W1 and W2? Just read this important sentence. The W2 and W1 are the corresponding widths at the basis of the peaks obtained by extrapolating the relatively straight side of the peaks of the baseline so actually this one sentence just talks about the way we understand how the peak width at base can be calculated by drawing the tangents and then trying to understand the intersection point across the baseline that four sigma you must have understand so that is the w concept the peak width at the base the alternative calculation formula which is given in the which, which was given in the uh, USP General Chapter 621 and this is a very important statement according to me. What this says, where electronic integration integrators are used, electronic integrators means what? Maybe your application softwares like Empower, Chromeleon, OpenLab, etc. So they can be called as electronic integrators because you can actually integrate the peak uh, with the help of the software. So where electronic integrators are used, it may be convenient to determine the resolution by the equation. And here is the equation you can see on the screen. Now, what is the difference you notice between the first equation and the second equation? Did you notice there is a shift from uh, peak width at base to the peak width at half height now? That is denoted by W1H by 2 for the first peak and W2H by 2 for the second peak. So the USP general chapter has said that in case if you use such kind of application software, electronic integrators, then you can prefer to use the peak width at half height. Let us now understand the calculation of uh, second term that is the uh, plate numbers or efficiency. Okay. So plate number and efficiency is actually on the page number 5. Let me scroll the page. 
and yes number of theoretical plates n again there are two calculation formulas given in the old version of the usp general chapter 621 i am talking about the old version and the first calculation formula talks about only w the number of theoretical plates can be calculated by using 16 into tr by w whole uh, term square so w is again what the peak width at the base height the way we have uh, discussed and and this is just a small representation you know how this peak width at the base can be calculated draw the tangent at the uh, the steep point portion on the curve and uh, integrate the peak understand where these two tangents are intersecting to the baseline so the distance between this intersection is nothing but the peak width at the base height the alternative calculation formula for the theoretical plates or efficiency is this one again you can see that now this peak width at base height is replaced by what peak uh, the peak width at half height wh by 2 and the wh by 2 is calculated just by understanding the the height of the peak from its baseline to apex and then understand the half of the height understand what is the uh, the distance between this uh, two limbs of the peak at half height which is denoted over here in the in the diagram wh by 2 and for the calculation of peak width at half height the drawing the tangents are not import not required and we also learn from the resolution section that for uh, application softwares where automatic integrators are used you can always prefer to have the the peak width at the half height so this is the details from the the old usp general chapter 621 now i will take you to the the current version of usp general chapter 621 uh so this is the first uh, just we talked about the number of uh, plates and we saw that the two different calculation formulas were given into the old version of the 621 the first one was by using the peak width at the base and the second cal second calculation formula was with the peak width at the half height now in the revised 621 the calculation formula with the peak width at uh, base is removed and you will find only the one calculation formula for the the plate number or number of theoretical plates which is belonging to the peak width at the half height you can see over wh is not the peak width it is the peak width at the half height look at here so this is the the important uh, change the usp general chapter 621 has bought and we all know that it is now effective from the december 2022 almost 6 month back it has got effective let us now try to understand the the resolution calculation formula and i hope you remember we talked about two different resolution calculation formulas according to the old version of the usp general chapter 621 and and this is the resolution calculation formula with the current usp general chapter 621 and there is only mention of the peak width at the half height wh1 and wh2 stand for the peak width at the half height so we can understand that the usp general chapter 621 has preferred the calculation of uh, resolution the calculation of plate counts by using the peak width at the half height so what could be the reason that usp has preferred the calculation of this important system suitability parameters by peak width at half height i think the first important point is uh, now this peak width at half height calculation does not require a calculation of this tangents drawing the tangents and then understanding the intersections so whatever errors which may be possible during this process is completely eliminated as we know that the tangents need not to be drawn for calculation of the peak width at the half height and again the peak width at half height can be very uh, accurately calculated by using this application softwares like empower cumul and open lab and that could be the reason probably why usp has proposed the peak width at half height during the calculation of a very critical system suitability parameters
Let me also know what are your thoughts on this particular change.